very important good morning everybody on facebook welcome 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 it's scotty McClure, the world stop broadcaster the first lord of the internet and we're broadcasting live with you welcome 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 tell everybody about it tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 we're also live on youtube at the same time so i thought you'd welcome a morning pop-up just to say dinky-doo to every single one of you. And of course, the rest of you can tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClure live on Facebook just for you. There's Kareem saying hello on Facebook. And uh, James Scully, hello, it's Jim Bob here. Jim Bob, very lovely to have you with us, of course. And uh, Kareem's watching us, lots and lots of thumbs up. Welcome to our lovely Facebookers. So there we go. This is the second of our morning pop-ups of this season. Get a shave, Santa. You get a shave, Ron Morrow. You go away and get a shave. I don't need a shave. I'm quite comfortable in my beard. I wasn't last night. I could tell you the heat. Fantastic. Right, now there you are, YouTubers. They've joined us. We are live and we are in business. Fantastic. I've got uh, all the YouTubers with us as well. You can get us live on YouTube at um youtube there's jim hickey ron morrow fantastic jim higgins is with us there you are lovely to have you with us and welcome 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 there you are i think i'm going to be in the market for santa this year no problem at all now then what's going on here has johnson cooked you anything nice scotty when i think mrs mcclure's just checking with Johnson about the um, vittling. The vittling, stat me vittles, is uh, he's getting uh, the vittling list sorted out. So they're in the big kitchen with the flagged stone floor. I just got some smoked fish off a van for breakfast. Bit of a scrambled eggs with that, and I'm off out. Catherine Raven, how very beautiful. Thank you for joining us, but don't feel you have to if you want to go and get sorted, Catherine. Wonderful. Hello, Scotty. So Sharon Haley. Hello, Haran. Hello, Sharon and Jim Higgins. Morsi Puffin in Australia. Welcome. Andrea Adorio Fientis says hello. Hello, Andrea Adorio Fientis. Si, si, buongiorno, buongiorno. And uh, thank you, Scotty, from a very cold Sydney. Oh, Morsi, have you got the winter in Sydney? Morsi's watching us in Sydney, guys. How fantastic's that? We are in Oz. I'm in Oz of her. <laughs> Scotty, ask Johnson to cook me a bacon sandwich and a cup of tea. Johnson, could we have 42 bacon rolls, please? And tea for 50, because we'll need a second cup. <laughs> I did the math there. Did you like what I did? Not everybody will need a second cup. Looking at chaos yesterday in Kelvin Grove Park in Bournemouth. Kelvin Grove Park in Bournemouth. Wow. Uh, oh, sorry, Kelvin Grove Park in Bournemouth. Tell people that they can go out and idiots flock. Is there a Kelvin Grove Park in Bournemouth? Or did you just miss out the punctuation? I ask you. Let's do some training, guys. Finley Morris, good morning. Thomas Speed and Longshanks, Leonard. Morning from the port. Morning, J.M. Rogers. Lovely to have you with us from the port. We love the port. So there you are, Scotty McClure's Port Glasgow. <laughs> Hi from Lark Hall, says Graham MacDonald. Hello, Graham. This is wonderful. Everybody's getting together in the mornings with Scotty McClure. We need to spread the word. And, of course, get on to YouTube, youtube.com forward slash the word user, U-S-E-R forward slash Scotty McClure 1. So that's the one. Hi from Madisonville, Tennessee, USA. Leanne Scotty Monroe is in Madisonville. It looked like Madisonville. I'm so sorry, Leanne. Leanne is in Madisonville, Tennessee. So there we are. And uh, we've been dancing to the Tennessee waltz here, Madison. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky-doo, welcome, welcome. Tell the rest of America about Scotty McClure. How do you do, dinky-doo? And get them to come and join us. Very important. Did you do from Inverkip, Scotty? Liking the beard, Craig Cochran. I thank you very much, sir. Lovely to have you with us. And uh, Carol Morris is watching. This is tremendous. Guys, we've got a real international flavor 
Madisonville, and Tennessee. And uh, so there we are. Ho, 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 says Catherine Raven. Oh, I know it's very funny, Catherine. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Um, I, yo, ho, ho. What's that from? Yo, ho, ho on a dead man's chest. There we are. I haven't seen any Catherine, just the rain. And you know what? I'm not complaining. A wee cool day was needed. Oh, did you see my clue last night, Kareem? Oh, last night. Guys, to put you in the picture, we're on from 10 o'clock in the morning till 12 midday, just for a pop-up to say hi. And then we're on YouTube, and we'll probably multi-stream at, at 8 o'clock at night till 10 o'clock. Hello from Newton Mearns, says Kareem. I believe that's a very nice place, Kareem. Roger Morris is watching. Thank you, do, Rog. Lovely to have you with us. I hope you're well and great to be with you on Facebook and on YouTube. All our YouTubers are joining us. Gordon Robertson, hello. I very near forgot about this morning pop-up. Greetings, Devon. Gordon, you can forget about anything except Scotty McClure. You need to come and join us, you top man. And we're also live, by the way, on Facebook and Bournemouth. So, John Jones, there's a Kelvin Grove Park in Bournemouth. Are you working, McClue, from the back? Uh, good morning, everybody. Hope you're all well and have a great day. This is the wonderful Glenn Peacock down in Sheffield in Yorkshire. Sheffield, aye. John Johnson, nice beard, Scotty. Thank you, John. Barry Smith's watching. You and Spoony Smith. Hello, Spinny and Steve Wilkie. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Fantastic. Guys, I'm going to save up and get cameras and things and uh, get all the multitasking going. Liked and shared, Scotty. Kareem, you are such a top man. There you are, and that's the truth of it. Good morning, Kareem, says Gordon Robertson. Hello, Glenn, says Kareem. Is it from the Pirates of the Caribbean? Uh, it might be Glenn Peacock, but it was around before that. Fifteen men on a dead man's chest. Yo-ho-ho -ho and a bottle of rum. What does that come from? Gordon, welcome. Welcome, says Kareem. Uh, yep, what do we got here? Catherine says, yep, yesterday gave me a sore head, Kareem, and an irritated nose and eyes. I'm going to pick up some, and she mentions a proprietary medicine. Uh, today, I was miserable with it. Oh, Catherine, I hope you're okay, because you're very precious. Everybody is. Uh, so there we are, fantastic. Scotty McClue, what you, will you be having for lunch? No, Now, lunch today is a light lunch. So it's avocado with uh, a spoonful of beautiful olive oil. Virgin, virgin olive oil. I think it's okay to say virgin first thing in the morning, isn't it? It's always okay to say virgin. Hi again, Scotty. I want the new uh, catch you later on. Andy Fortune, what a top man you are. Thank you for everything you do for us. And Dinky do. There we are. You catch me later, big style. Guys, are we all giving it the thumbs up on our YouTube here? Sorry, Scotty, typing too fast. I meant the trouble in Kelvin Grove Park. Yes, period. Oh, and the beach in Bournemouth. Sorry, I'm very uneducated. John Jones, you are far from uneducated. Quite the antithesis. And we'll look that one up together. You'll see what I mean. Catherine, I hope you feel better today in this cooler air. Or oh, the air's better. There's been a wee, a wee wash during the night. Good morning. I'll be at the sausage rolls for lunch, says Joseph Aitken. Aha! You can't beat the sausage rolls. Kareem, have you given me a pound and tapped the dollar on live chat? Avocado's so good for you. It gives you great energy. I like a wee avocado. And I put a wee, just a wee trace of olive oil in the centre. Uh, you can put a little bit of mayonnaise. Gordon Robertson, you literary friend. Treasure Island. Robert Louis Stevenson's Treasure Island. The captain. The captain, they sang it, did they not, when they'd had a refreshment. Charlie McMorgan, dinky do, dinky do, my good man, says Brian Hall. Lovely to have you with us, Brian. Mark Kelsey's watching. Fantastic. Lovely to have you with us live. We are live, of course, on Facebook 
Fantastic. So let everybody know. Thank you, Scotty, says Catherine. No, it's true, Catherine. A very important lady. And you're live on Scotty McClure. And that's even more important. <laughs> now, just teasing, you are very important. Don't you forget that, Catherine Raven. Right, so that's you. That's just telt now. That's just I'll telt. Thank you, Scotty. Yes, absolutely. Morning, says the wonderful Mark Kelsey. Good morning, Mark. So there we are. Uh, we are live streaming and we are multitasking. We're live on Facebook. If you've just joined us, this is not a recording. So there you are. And uh, I can't say it will always not be a recording, you know, because we might show a watch party later, you see. Fantastic. Everybody's joined us. Thank you very much. What's the chat this morning, y'all? Oh, Joseph, the chat is huge. We have lots to get through. We may even have time to squeeze in a clip. So there you are. You know, uh, that sort of idea. Big shout out for Liverpool winning the Premier League, says Glenn Peacock. Well, you'll never walk alone, Glenn, if that's the case. Scotty, I ordered gin from Barra made with selected botanicals and carrageen seaweed, spicy and crisp. Do you think it sounds nice? This will be for special occasions. I think it sounds gorgeous. Sounds fantastic. Have you ever had slow gin? And there's another, I think there's another lovely gin from Mull. So there we are. Check, check out that. Fantastic. Um, so there you are. Another lovely gin from Mull. Check that out. Uh, yes. And, uh, oh, it's just it's just wonderful stuff, isn't it? You know, if you're, if you're wanting that sort of thing. Of course, you know, McClure doesn't touch it. No, don't touch it. Uh, uh, it's about wonderful. No, but uh, do, that sounds very, very nice. And I know there are a lot of specialist gins now. And Barra sounds just very, very beautiful. So there we are. And uh, morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. We are live here, fantastic, live on Facebook. And uh, there's Habib Malik. Habib, lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, welcome, welcome, welcome. A lot of people are a bit late during lockdown because they've been in their bobos. So there we are. Kareem, what do you think of the mornings? Good idea. This is only our second morning. And it's fantastic. It really is wonderful. Thank you, Scotty. Welcome to Newcastle, to Middlesbrough, to Cairn Ryan, to home today. Wish me luck. Martin Mathiochioch. Fantastic. So, Martin Mathiochioch, you have a lovely, lovely day. Maha. There we are. Um, watching and listening to you from Pakistan. Habib Malik. Lovely to have you with us. Please tell all of Pakistan you're watching Scotty McClure. Share it with everybody and come on and join us. Lovely to have you with us. Wonderful Brian Hall, thumbs up. Stuck in Islamabad. Well, there are a lot worse places to be stuck, Habib. You've done very well. There we are. Fantastic. Send our love to Islamabad. See. Si. Wonderful. Absolutely fantastic. Right. Um, get to us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. Lots of likes, please, on the YouTube here. Has everybody liked, 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 liked? Let's tell everybody that we're live. I like to do re the wee random pop-ups, as you know. But I think we'll tell everybody that we're live. And uh, spill the beans. Missing my Bonnie Scotland. Habib, I'm sure you are. Fantastic, but you'll be back soon. So there we are. What's the lockdown rules in Islamabad? S Scotty, do you not have a wee drink on special occasions? I don't drink that much, but when I do, it's a cheap night. Lol, tipsy too quick. Um, no, I used to, Karim, I used to take a good refreshment. Um, and about four years ago, I just gave up over the driving thing. So that any time the police stopped me, because I used to be around late at night, working late, and uh, I'd be going home maybe two, three in the morning, and always the police, you know, they haven't really got a lot to do during the night. They might say, just pull him in. That, he looks like a, a dodgy guy, you know, and that sort of stuff. And they would come round and have a chat and 
can you smell any drink there for you? And I said, well, I haven't had a drink for four years, you see. And then you don't have to worry, because, of course, obviously, if you get done for drunk driving now, or even a spoonful over the limit, you're a criminal. You know, it's, it's, that's a, a serious criminal. Um, with a record, and you lose your tie and your shoelaces, and all sorts of uh, embarrassing things. Probably your girlfriend would go, your job. Um, just just a nightmare, just from having a spoonful over, you know. So I thought, no, 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 we'll we'll give it up. Give it up. Right, quick comfort break. Whew. Starting early with the comfort breaks this morning. Absolutely amazing. Uh, so, no, no, I don't bother at all, Kareem. And I don't actually miss it, to be honest. Because, you see, I couldn't really think much anyway. I mean, 20, 28 years of late night working has kept me out the pubs. You know, Kareem, you're like me. I'm, uh, I'm a lightweight, says Gordon. I can't handle drink. Even a glass of wine where a meal could put me under the table. Well, of course, Gordon, that's because your system's, uh, you know, so good. It warns you. People don't realize that with alcohol, you get several warnings because apart from as a de-inhibitor, and I checked this with a Dr. Chum, there is no value in alcohol at all except the price you pay for a bottle of it. And um, as soon as you take a drink, your body's going, right, we need to get rid of this. So that's when you break the seal. So you, you, you pop for a number one on pint, pint two, you know, and then you think, right, pint three, and then you're popping away for number one because your body said, we need to get rid of this, we need to get rid of this, because the liver is so clever. So morning, Scotty, says the wonderful Catherine Harper. From Corker Hill, I hope you're well. Three lovely kisses, mwah, mwah, mwah. Catherine Harper. Yes, we're very well. And, uh, of course, we're live on Facebook and we're multi-streaming on YouTube as well. So it's tremendous. Not a great picture on the old Facebook, but we'll get there, you know. Fantastic stuff. Just say no, says Catherine. Absolutely. And no means no. So there you are. Uh, Gordon, good idea. Scotty, yes, the early morning ones, pop-ups are good. It'll keep me in routine and get up and not sleep in. So thank you. No, that's a privilege, Karim. Thank you for all your kindness. And thank you, you naughty boy, for tapping the dollar at the top of the live chat. I'll find out what's going on there. We need to do some sharing, guys. Nobody knows we're on apart from us. We must tell the world share 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 come on now gordon robertson you're a big sharer you get this out there and tell ted to tell ted to tell ted fantastic right there we go so that's that now a wee bit of sharing going on um so let me get over i'll just put my lovely lovely facebookers there just now all right my darlings and uh, what we'll do is wee bit of chat um, just a wee copy and paste, and uh, we'll uh, we'll send this round. Let everybody know. So I'm just going to share, uh, and I'll share with our Facebookers, our wonderful Facebookers. Let them know what's what. Isn't it wonderful? We've got people watching in Australia, in America, in Pakistan. I love it. You know, I mean, it's it's the way life should be. This is what it's about. But we do need to build and build and build. So there we are. I'll, uh, I'll just put that we're live now. How are you doing, guys? Are you okay there? Uh, just multitasking. You know what it's like. Oh, never a dull moment on here. There we are. I'll just put live now. I don't do Scotty McClure is live now. Because um, I don't know if people bother about all that. Catherine Raven says, the morning goes slow. You've added sunshine to the day. Oh, Catherine, bless you. Um, what I find about the mornings is there's nothing really worth watching on the telly. I had a look at that. That was part of the reason I decided to do the pop-ups. I thought, listen, I'll go on and talk to people properly. You know, this wallpaper television and radio is no good. Catherine Raven says, in Sydney, Australia, I used to live in Newcastle at the time of the earthquake. Heavens, Catherine, you're a lady of the universe. Well, Marcy Puffin uh, has just texted us from Oz. 
from Sydney, and she says it's freezing. Okay, says Gordon Robertson. There we are. Wonderful stuff. Fantastic. BRB. What's BRB, Gordon? Uh, Bothwell. Alan Stewart's in Bothwell. Kareem sent us a row of uh, salt tires. The salt tire. What a beautiful flag. The salt tire should be in everything. Do you know that up until the referendum, the salt tire was in everything? Scottish potatoes. And then after that, everything went to British. And I thought, aha, uh -huh, a wee bit of brainwashing going on here. A wee bit of social engineering. Yes, these Scots calmed them down. They voted against it. And of course they had me. Just some had. Live now. There we go. I'm just going to send this to the big Scotty McClue page. Share on a page you manage. Try to manage an imaginary manager managing an imaginary manager. Try saying that one with a couple of refreshments in you, I say. <laughs> it's winter in Sydney. It does. It's cold there. Yeah, absolutely. Do you get very cold winters in Australia? Or are they kind of... Okay. Hey, Scotty McClure. I was wondering we stream tonight as well. Of course a good pizza. We stream in the morning as of yesterday, and we stream in the night. Scotty, do you remember the floods in Sheffield a few years ago? My mum was working then and was in water up to the knees. She got a lift off a woman. She worked with also flooding going towards Meadow Hall. I remember, had the dawn not burst its banks and poor old Meadow Hall got flooded. Is that right? So there you go. Absolutely. Uh, Tinsley and the surrounding area. Yes, Tinsley. Now, Tinsley, is that where you go down to the Fitzwilliam Works? Am I right, Glenn? So there you are. That's a very interesting setup there, the, the Fitzwilliam setup, isn't it? Have you ever read the books on it on Wentworth Woodhouse? Do you know Wentworth Woodhouse, Glenn? Uh, so there we go. Yes, I remember. I remember the floods. I get heartbroken when one of my uh, places gets flooded. I get heartbroken anyway, guys, when I find out that, uh, you know, people have been flooded, I think. This is just so unfair. And I get also shocked at how little the government do about it. Mind you, poor old Boris went up to the floods, and I don't know that he was too welcome, to be quite honest with you, you know, because you need to go with a package, and you need to say to people, we will back you here like they did with covid virus you know say we'll get you out of this please don't worry because a lot of the reasons for the floods is that we need to get the rivers cleaned out you know what have we got here there we are oh here we are. depends where you are new south wales is the closest climate to ours in the uk right catherine of course sydney's new south wales Correct, Scotty, says Glenn. I spoke to my friend who hates the SNP, and he's a unionist. He's not happy if Scotland gets independence, and the Queen's picture will be on the Saltar flag. But it's our country. Let her flourish. No, what we need to do, this is the winner, Karim. Tell everybody this. Uh, you need everybody, all your unionists, to realise that they will be better off in an independent Scotland, economically, never mind the politics. And your unionists like the union flag, obviously, but we get them on to the salt tire. And then you explain to people like the Orange Lodge that the Queen will be part of the new Scotland, you know, and that they can come and show their loyalty under the salt tire. Things like that, you know what I mean? And you break down all these barriers because politically the Orange Lodge just get used, hand up the back by the government of the day to divide and rule. You know, that sort of idea. So there we go. And that's been the case since William Pitt. Uh, Scotty, ever thought that planes been lying, not getting used for months, like cars not getting used, may seize up? I think I'll leave holidays until I see all these planes flying. Well, John Jones, I'm sure they will have been heavily maintained. You know, you don't want to drop the maintenance. But if some things, it shouldn't be too bad. I don't know. I don't know enough about aeromechanics. 
you see, but a car, if it's off for a long time, then uh, the fuel goes off if it's petrol, um, so it goes bad and it's, it loses its viscosity or whatever you would call it. And um, rubber, the rubber things, you know, the tires get flats in them and what have you. So there are, but I don't know about aeromechanics. I don't know about the planes seizing up. So there we are. I'm just letting everybody know we're live now. And we're sharing a cheering a cheering. Who have we got here? Robert Rovers is watching. Morning, Scotty. The monsoon season is upon us, says Robert Rovers. Hugh Beatty is watching. Andy Scott Longshanks has joined us. Fantastic. Longshanks Leonard. What a top man. And he's live on the old Facebook. Wonderful. I'm just sharing, guys. You can all do the same. Lots and lots of sharing. I'll bring our Facebookers back in line with us. Good morning, my dears. So there we are. Who else have we got? Stuart Hotton's watching. And it's wonderful. Kareem, are you watching both channels? That's superb. Yes, tonight as well. Good pizza. So there we are. Absolutely. Anybody know about aero mechanics? And what will be happening to all these aircraft? Quick uh, comfort break. Woo! Fantastic. Woo! There we are. I'm seeing if I can get myself another camera. Yes, yes, tonight. Tonight is the night. Good pizza. Well done. So I'm going to see if I can get myself another wee camera and uh, see if we can get started for you. I thought that would be rather good. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll keep on updating the equipment. It's all to do with getting pennies. If anyone's feeling flush this morning, feel free to uh, buy me a hot chocolate, says at the top of the YouTube or uh, send a pound. There we are. Kareem's very, very generous. Always send a pound. But Scotty McClue's free. Always free. There you are. You don't have to. Uh, Joseph Aitken. So there we are. Uh, Matt Hancock threatening to reclose the beaches due to yesterday's behavior. Yeah, what is it with human beings? If I tell my beautiful Labrador dog not to do something, he does this. So he knows. So you see, sit. No. No. You see? That sort of idea. So what is it with human beings? Social distance. They don't understand it. I made a goat curry last night. What's your opinion on goat meat, Scotty? Long shanks. I don't think I've ever had it. So there you are. So I couldn't tell you. I do like goat's milk and I like goat's cheese. But I don't know anything about goat meat. So there you are. Dinky do, Scotty. Dinky do. Dinky Graham. But I once watched a documentary about a guy who'd visited a tribe in the desert and it was a great compliment for them to um, clobber their best goat and feed him goat meat. So there you go. Tell us what it was like. Your CD came this morning. We'll listen later. Glenn Peacock, how did you get that CD? That's amazing. The best of Scotty McClure. <laughs> there we are. Longshanks, the most ruthless king in England. Yes, Longshanks, absolutely. So there we are. We know all about Longshanks, don't we? So I would imagine that you're called, your nickname is something you've said. Dinky do, Scotty. Dinky do, says Nicky Graham. The wonderful Nicky Graham has joined us. Welcome. I see Jim Gallagher's watching. Fantastic. Paul Underwood, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Bought it off eBay, says Glenn. Oh my goodness, I hope you didn't pay too much. There we are. I was watching baby goats playing yesterday. I thought it's nice they don't eat them. I've been corrected. So there we are. Oh, no, those goats are gorgeous. I'll tell you where you'll see wild goats. Um, all over the road at coming back from Coolport. Over the hill. And you can see goats by the roadside. Wild goats. And uh, just over seven pounds, Glenn. You've got a bargain there, dear boy. And because uh, they'll be very rare now. And um, I found out that when Robert the Bruce was King of Scotland, he was on the run. He was being chased. And he was at Tarbert in Argyll. And he was hiding. And he was very, very hungry. And along came a lady goat and let him suckle milk from her. She stood there while he filled himself with goat's milk. And he declared 
that when he was, uh, you know, got rid of his enemies and was sitting on the throne, goats would have free range in Scotland. And I think it must be the same today. I would need to check if there's been any change in the law. So there we are, David Russell, Darren Christie. Wonderful. The goat curry was fabulous, Scott. It tasted similar to mutton, but a bit more fragrant. Well, Longshanks, we've all learned something today. So there we go. I remember the days when Scotland really just did mince. <laughs> you would, uh, you'd only buy a steak. Sometimes a lady would make you a steak if she wanted to impress you. <laughs> so there we go. Nicola Tom, Dinky Doo, Robert Rovers. Government said they could trust the general public. Scenes at the beaches shows exceedingly skewed judgment. Give people an inch, they take a mile, unfortunately. Robert Rovers. I've not heard a sensible thing come out of Westminster during this lockdown. On the other hand, I've heard just sheer genius coming out of Hollywood. So I would think that most English people would like to be run from Hollywood. Uh, good morning, Scotty, from sunny Musselbra. Nicola, Tom, I adore Musselbra, as you know. I used to park behind the wee co-op. Is it all still there in the main street? And uh, I would go in and get my stuff and pop back to East Lothian and could do a wee bit of banking. There we are, go and put a tenor into the building society. Scotty, that sounds like a kinky goat to me. So there you are. Hmm. So there we are. <laughs> well, Robert the Bruce was very grateful to her if, if she was kinky. There we are. But um, so there we go. I think he sounds a bit more kinky than the goat, but there it goes. We'll not, we'll not go there. But the, the man was starving, for goodness sake. He'd been on the run, hiding in ditches and things in, in West Loch Tarbot. And up came yeah, the goat, and he said, Here, hen, give us a wee bit breakfast. Keep me alive, and it would be very good for him. The goat's milk, unless he had a uh, lactose intolerance. Uh, David Diston. But I'm not right thinking if you're lactose intolerant, goat's milk's better than cow's milk. I don't know. You tell me. Uh, good morning, Scotty. This is the wonderful Robert T. Kerr. Good morning, Robert. David Distance watching. Welcome, everybody. And uh, lovely to have you with us live on Facebook. We're also live streaming on YouTube. Tremendous stuff. Animals are more human than humans. Catherine, I, the animals are just fantastic. You know, I mean, they're just sensible. Your audience figures ought to be sky high in a few minutes. I've posted so many places I'm now at risk. I've been banned for mail bombing, fly posting and spamming. Gordon Robertson, what can I say except thank you, thank you, thank you. That's all I can say to you. You really are a wonderful man, but I don't want you to know that because I still need to be able to pull you up you know, it was the same when you popped pennies into the, click the dollar, click the dollar bill at the top of live chat, sent me huge pennies, you know, and um, I thought, I, I hope he realizes he still needs to be pulled up if I don't think he's right. <laughs> Is goat's milk not very fattening? I don't know, Kareem, because I, I haven't really had much of it, but, you know, I mean, there's fattening and fattening. You see, I once went on a high-fat diet. Now, Kareem, you know this. You're a um, physical education man. And I once went on a high-fat diet, and I was having things like sliced sausage and egg for breakfast, uh, virtually no carbs at the time. I lost two stones. Somebody said, are you on a diet, Scotty? All around your face, it's falling off you. Fantastic. What are you at? Are you just, are you on these slim drinks or are you? I said, no, I'm on the sausage and bacon and egg. Oh, I don't think that can be very good for you with the fat. And then the high fat milk and the weight just fell off me. Partly it gets your system going, here, we need to get into gear here. Get rid of this fat. Well done, Gordon. I know, is Gordon not just a honey, Catherine? I don't want to embarrass him, but he's just a honey. Fantastic, because Nationwide Coin Hunt, good morning. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, top man nationwide. Fantastic, because can everybody like the stream, please? 
and have have we all subscribed so i need thumbs up down to the left of where you're watching me bottom left you'll see a wee thumbs up sign that says like if you could just click that that would be great that would be outstanding the sturgeon's doing a great job looking after Scotland's people. She is Robert, you're quite right. Nicola, Ms. Sturgeon, First Minister. Uh, the wee co-op's now gone. We've got a colossal Tesco now. Local small traders for me. Nicola Tom, I loved Musselburgh because of all its local small traders. Same with North Berwick. So there, I remember North Berwick actually had the game merchant. Fantastic. Uh, sunny Airdrie is not so sunny today. No, Robert, I dare say. Can we share round Facebook, please, and let humanity know my clues on? There we are. Uh, good morning, good morning. Yes, good morning, Scotty. This is the wonderful James Bauer. Morning, James. James, did you get your notifications that we were on, or did you just know from yesterday? Fantastic. The ketogenic diet is a very low-carb, high-fat diet that shares many similarities with the Atkins and low-carb diets. Well, I'll tell you, it really did it for me. You could have a steak, you could have eggs, you could have all that, and the weight was falling off me. Uh, you know, it was, it was just brilliant. But here's the rub, Kareem, if you'll pardon the pun. I suddenly started getting cramps when I was lying in bed and my muscles were getting a bit achy and I thought what is this and I checked it out and I needed carbs so I went back on the, the bread I went out and got myself a lovely loaf and got stuck into that we must all come out of lockdown as different people come out of a new skill hobby outlook and life if we don't we haven't Lacked time, we have lacked discipline, absolutely. And if you think about it, we get disciplined at our work, even turning up. You know, I mean, I had a friend turned up one time and a secretary savaged him. She said, you should have been here at nine o'clock. He went, why, what happened? What happened? <laughs> Lovely answer. But you get that all the time. Here, I'll need to go. It's half past all that kind of stuff all the time kareem you'll know you're a teacher every 50 minutes or so bring 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 right that's the bell come on off you all go scotty have you ever had tiger bread it's gorgeous i do glenn i love it i'm not quite so good with the white bread as i am with the brown bread the glenn i have a slight wheat intolerance I'm not celiac, but, uh, you know, I have to just keep an eye on all that. But I do enjoy it. And a bacon roll. Oh, stop, stop. <laughs> Wonderful. Lovely to have you all with us. Tell 10 to tell 10. Wonderful Gordon Robertson has done a sterling job. Isn't goat's milk supposed to be healthy, says Robert T. Kerr? Supposed to be better for you than the milk from cows. I think it depends where the cows are from and where they graze. You know, I think if they were grazing in the field at Chernobyl, it might be slightly different, only slightly different from uh, from grazing elsewhere. Applewood cheese. Stop, Glenn Peacock. The smoked applewood cheese. Love it. Uh, has anybody noticed that food's gone up a wee bitty? You know, your food bill's quite a bit higher. Check your prices when you're buying everything. And that's why I tend to go for all the bargain stuff. Come back with all the yellow labels or the, the our own brand, you know. <laughs> These kind of diets are very hard to maintain and continue, my friend. Very large. Oh, sorry, my friend, very large. And he lost weight but put it back on when he came off it. Well, I know when well, you actually get a bit fed up just eating meat and sausage and bacon and egg and some sort of other stuff you know what i mean people like us i like a sandwich cream a sandwich we like a sane this conversation is making me hungry i know catherine will all be starting going oh, i think i'll put on the pan <laughs> wonderful how are all you gorgeous gorgeous facebookers getting on here have you joined us on youtube youtube.com forward slash user forward slash scotty mcclue one and don't make excuses going, oh, I'm not on YouTube, but get on it. This is a reason to be on YouTube. Uh, it's wonderful. Melted cheese on toast with tomatoes. Glenn Peacock, stop! 
There we are. Everybody will be getting a bit peckish. We'll lose our figures. People will be are we making something. So there we are. Fantastic. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've just joined us, guys, tell more people that McClue's on. Come on. We need to get sharing and sharing and sharing. What about sharing to some of the big groups? Just let them know what's happening. Uh, share with all your gaming friends. I know a man who scrans a munchie box every single day, Scotty. Finley Morris, how can you afford that? A munchie box to me is like a luxury, you think. Saturday night, I'll tell you what we might do. It's been a good week. We'll maybe scran a munchie box. But I, I couldn't think every day. How do people manage that? Melted cheese and toast with tomatoes. Yes, I'm getting hungry also for a lentil soup lunch, Kareem. The lentil soup. There we are. So have you had, do you have lentil soup at, when you're at work, Kareem? Because uh, I've, I've heard the schools do a fine lentil soup. Tomato, sorry, no E on the end. Don't worry, Glenn. The predictive text, you say tomato, I say tomato. Um, I'm dying to go and fry that fish up now. Catherine Raven, very nice. His name is Doogie, says Finlay. Finlay, we don't drop in all the names. You know that. I would have thought Tam would have told you. Wonderful. Oh. Oh. I don't know. Everybody knows it's live with the comfort breaks. Morning, Scotty. Porridge for me. Enjoy, but beware thunderstorms on their way this weekend yes have you ever tried churros says nationwide coin hunt nationwide what are churros tell us more lovely to have you with us by the way uh, i made a nice salad yesterday with a nice chicken kiev on top beautiful it was ah james Bauer, chicken kiev with the garlic butter inside very nice yes a wee bit windy though just watch the game a wee bit windy uh, here's Catherine, tin of chicken soup, tin of sweet corn, pepper, parsley, blend, heat and eat five minutes and you're fed and out the door. So this is chicken and sweet corn soup. Very nice. There we are. Scotty, what do you have in a munchie box? Well, Glenn... I've never actually had a munchie box, but I saw it advertised at my local takeaway. And it appeared to be mixed pecora, kebab meat, and chips. So they, are, they don't do rice because I think it's harder. You can't really eat rice with your fingers so easily. Well, you can, but you don't get much. You know, it's like the, the Chinese all you can eat for 10 quid and they only give you one chopstick, you know. That sort of idea. Nationwide, a shop sells great churros. So there we are. Ah, a shop on Great Western Road, GWR. Do you know Gordon Robertson? I haven't heard that for years. I stayed just off the Great Western Road for years. And we called it GWR. Where did you get that? GWR. Whereabouts? Along at the end. Oh, at the brig. Ah, right, okay. I know where you are now. All that stuff. Further along, you had the butchers and you had the ironmonger. Do you remember the ironmonger, Uncle George? Fantastic. Proper ironmongers. Uh, at work at interval, I have a biscuit and a lunch of a soup or a banana or both. Law then, dinner at night. Kareem, Kareem, fantastic. So you have a biscuit and I have a soup or a banana. Yes, that's right. Now, I've heard this, Kareem, of course. The teachers get by on two digestives and a banana. Sometimes chicken is two or spicy wings, two pieces of chicken and fries. They do all the variety. Or oh, if it's a chicken one. I think it depends if you're in the curry house or if you're in one of the other retailers. The other abbreviation is QMD, Queen Margaret Drive. Gordon, I know it all so well. I spent so much of my life walking along the Kelvin walkway. And what we used to say is we would either it would say, are you taking the car into town? I would say, no, let's just jump the clockwork orange or a fast black. 
and a fast black if there were enough of you was the Glasgow Hackney. So, you know, you get four of you in there, it was nothing into the town. You know, we even used it as students. We used to share a taxi because it was in those days, I think about 25p each or maybe as much as 50p each. Could it have been two pounds 40 years ago? Would it have been two pounds from the city centre to the university? Who can tell me? Taxi drivers, calculations, please. You can always do them in your head. Taxi drivers are superb at mental arithmetic. Excuse me, how much is that? That's, um, a, what do we see now? Um, 12, 12.80. There we go. I've only got 13 pounds, driver. Well, that, I'll do. Uh, what do we see? A wee bit stuck for change the day. Oh, I, I just keep it. It's no problem. God. Uh, Kareem, okay, I'm going to have soup now. I am hungry. Kareem, it's 10 minutes to 11. Right, no more comments from me, says Catherine. I'm starving. Go to cook. I'm still listening. Catherine, we'll let you off. You don't have to comment if you're listening. Guys, please do that. A lot of people are doing it. They're putting Scotty McClue on, treating it as the radio. You don't have to take a swatch at my coupon then. And just wander away and do your stuff. Go on to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel and just indulge yourself. What's your favourite kind of cuisine? This is Longshanks, Leonard. Any cuisine, Longshanks. Uh, quite good with the French cuisine, Mediterranean cuisine, British cuisine. Scottish cuisine, English cuisine, Irish cuisine, an Ulster fray with a bit of uh, porkers in the double yokers. Uh, thunderstorms of Cardinesco Bride this morning at 6.45. Robert T. Kerr, you up at 6.45. Catherine will catch you. I love the subway. Will you sing us the Francia Josie song? You know I would. There's Perti Cross and Red. Da, 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 da. But I can't because of the copyright. So there we are. Scotty, what kind of pizza do you like? I love a weekly pizza. I haven't had pizza for a long time. My oven's not working. And um, I have to get the pennies to fix that. So uh, I'll need, it needs a part. So I haven't had the pizza because I used to get the pizza pop it in the oven, you know that. But uh, a carry out pizza, I think it's got to be the meat feast. Or the pepperoni, see, si. or chicken pepperoni. Uh, morning, you're looking good, says the wonderful Angela. Good late morning, Angela. Lovely to have you with us. You say very kind things. The wonderful Dave Anderson is watching. What a top man. Munchie boxes from Indian takeouts consist of various pakoras, mushroom, onion, vegetable, large pieces of chicken, large naan bread, and donner meat with salad in a tub. Right, Robert T. Kerr. That's what we're having. The Munchie Box. Hey. It's actually more relaxing than leaning over your phone. Might just do that from now on. Then it feels like the radio. Well, I think so, Catherine, because I am a radio person. Apparently, I flow quite well, if you will pardon the, the, the saying. <laughs> no live stream tonight, says Rocky Raccoon. Why? What are you doing? We will be live streaming at 8 o'clock sharp. Rocky Raccoon. So there we are. I'm back, says Nationwide Coin Hunt. Top man, we are away for your breaky. Did you get a wee bit breaky? Wonderful, and thank you. Very good to see you. There we are. Do you love fish and chips, Angela Goodlett? Do bears visit the woods, I ask you? Of course I love fish and chip. Yes, a wee fish and chip. A special. My beautiful, beautiful chippy does me two pieces so there we are two pieces and lovely chips cooked fresh oh a bargain oh i thought this was instead of the late night show no rocky raccoon why would i do that to all our late nighters that late night show is really really taking off by the way it's not a late night show it's eight o'clock till ten o'clock at nights on youtube guys if you'd like to join us, all you beautiful Facebookers, get on to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel, subscribe, tap the bell, you'll get a notification, and then join us at 8 o'clock every evening. There we are, fantastic. Oh, yes, no, no, Rocky Raccoon, no, 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 we do the lot. 
there you are. It means all my clues working, but um, but that's that's good. You know, I mean, I like to be around. We might as well put our time to good use. And everybody is feeding back to me. We're just young, you see, so we'll not have millions watching yet. But they will do. They will come. Trust me, because uh, Scotty McClure, although I say it myself, a very big international name. And there you are. What areas of Scotty have you had? Some of the best chippies. Kareem, I toured for four years. I was taking uh, shows to uh, London, to Manchester, Liverpool, Newcastle, the Highlands. Uh, for four years, so I lived in hotels. So I also lived in chippies. I was very, very, very fit then. I was 12 and a half stone with, I think, something like a, a 15 collar. Would that be right? Uh, that sort of idea. So there we are. Very, very fit. And um, But I, I ate. I drank beer. And I ate chippies. Chicken in the basket. Scampion chips. Whatever the bars and the, the hotels and the pubs did. Uh, so there you are. So I've had fish and chips all over the country. Yorkshire is outstanding for fish and chips. That, of course, is where we got the famous Harry Ramsdens. And... Um, Bridlington, Scarborough, um, Skegness, I know that's, uh, that's Lincolnshire. Uh, all these places will do. Cleethorpes, Blackpool, of course, as you well know. All these places will do your real good fish and chip. Scotland has outstanding chippies. I mean, you know, places where buses used to stop. I always wondered what that was like for the chippy. There was a brilliant chippy in Ochterarda in the days before the motorway. You travelled down from Perth and somebody say, anybody for chips at Ochterarda? Oh, all the hands went up. So a bus stopped outside the chippy in Ochterarda. Now I wondered what they felt like because the local Ochterardians would be, you know, going in steady, getting their tea. But then suddenly 50 people turn up wanting fish and chips. Ramsey hasn't got a patch on this meal, says uh, Catherine Raven. So there we are. Catherine, your meal will be outstanding. You'll be an outstanding cook. Largs, says the nationwide coin hunt. Aha! Yes, wonderful chippies and largs. But I say the best chippy um, I've gone into in, well, no, I was going to say in all of Glasgow, there's a beauty in Thornley Bank. There we are. If you get yourself into Thornley Bank, uh, they do a wonderful fish and chip there. And um, Mary Hill, wonderful fish and chip. Absolutely outstanding. So there we go. Just tremendous stuff. Absolutely tremendous. Uh, you can't beat a special fish, says Nicola Tom. The chippy at Girvan, hard to beat, says Robert. Um, so there we are. Wonderful to get all this news, guys, from you guys. Amazing. Absolutely fantastic. Guys, I, I don't know how this looks on Facebook, but I'm going to try and get another camera going. But, uh, you know, sorry if I'm a bit big, as I say, people say, uh, you know, people like to criticize anything. The kind of people that whatever you say to them, it will be a negative. So you say, Yorkshire is such a beautiful county. And people go, uh, ah, it's, it's, it's okay. I mean, it's okay. You know, they don't want to be positive. They panic about it, you know. They're the kind of people that get up and it's raining and go, what a terrible day. Terrible day today. It's not a terrible day. We just need to get the right clothes on for going out. My favourite chippy, Byers Road. Next to the chemist is Gordon Robertson. I've had many a chippy from there. Fantastic, wonderful. Cracker at the Central Station as well. Maryhill Road, very, very good. So there we go, beautiful stuff. But uh, as I say, I got absolutely spoiled at Zavarone's in Rothsey. Beautiful, beautiful fish and chip. Remo Pasiti, now Remo, you will know about the fish and the chip. So do tell us, Remo. Remo's uh, an Italian gentleman. See. Si. 
Uh, bella, bellissimo, bellissimo. Fantastic. So tell us about a bellissimo chippy where we could go. Bravo, bravissimo for the chips. And the fish was just in the groove. Beautiful. Fantastic. So there you are. Uh, so Thornley Bank, Main Street, Thornley Bank, Kareem. Pop in and see them there. Yes, pop in and see Alberto. And they will do you a beautiful fish tea. See, you heard about it from Scotty McClue on YouTube. There we are. Wonderful. Um, not that I condone violence, but negative people need a high five in the face sometimes. Nicola, Tom. Harsh, savage. <coughs> but no, they do need a, a serious telling off, you know what I mean? Because um, it annoys me when you're, you know, you're, you're doing stuff and all that. Same, we ones do it, kids do it, and the rest of it. There's beautiful pizza there. You know, remember a guy in the chippy one night and he'd got about 15 kids with him. He'd obviously been taking them all swimming, all the neighbor's kids and everything. And he'd gone in to buy them chips, probably out his own pocket and everything. And he's in and he's going like this, at his own room. Good. What would you like? People go, could I get a single fish, please? Could I get just some chips? And he comes to this wee guy and he goes, right, what are you wanting? And the wee guy goes, you want chips? And he goes, right. Chips, 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 fish, chips, 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 chips. Nothing! <laughs> to the wee guy. <laughs> Inster and St. Andrews of Great Chippies, they do indeed. And Strother, Inster and St. Andrews, they do indeed. I have partaken of both. So there we go. Scotty, guess what, lol? I'm having my soup, and yes, I know. That chippy, they used to have good meal deals. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, you can get two pieces. So there you are, wonderful. J-Dog Scotty. Dinky do Scotty. This is the wonderful J-Dog Gaming. Welcome, J-Dog. Slept in a bit this morning. You would be needing it, J-Dog. You're a growing man, a growing boy, and you need to get your sleep. But you don't want to be missing too much Scotty McClure, Dinky do for you. There we are. There will be an abundance of Scotty McClue. Uh, the chippy are broth that sells smokies. He wa hamadamin. Dinky do. No negative people do get. They get on your old thrupneys, don't they? The negative people. Morning, Scotty. Early one today. Nemesis, yes. Our second day of early streaming. They are but wonderful to have everybody with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Someone mentioned that people should have developed hobbies during lockdown. I've written more TV pilots than I have in my life. Robert T. Kerr, you should be writing Scotty McClue the movie. <laughs> that would be a big one. Yes, I need to get into these. Robert, I've got one for you joking apart. And have this up your sleeve with all your contacts. I have tentatively put it to a couple of television companies. And it's that we do this on a Friday night, pop up, unscripted, take messages, texts, perhaps even phone calls. And we have just the Scotty McClure show. And it's live. And if people don't like it, they can do one. And I think the audience will be through the roof. Now, Robert, as you know, your problem is commissioning editors like formulaic stuff and they're not terribly good with something new that they don't understand. You see? So there you are. I mean, I was working with a radio station and when I left that radio station, the figures fell. And I think people don't understand. They think, well, wait a minute. Why would an old guy in a hat attract anybody? Do you see what I mean? And they forget that I have attracted quarter of a million people a half hour just from being an old guy in a hat. Do you know what I mean? It's it's that sort of stuff. So tell me what your opinion on that is, Robert, because I would value it. And of course, you know when you go to commissioning editors and go, Scotty, you're you're great, you're you're very entertaining, you're a very funny man, clever, you're obviously clever. 
Uh, but I think it's got to be a no. I think we'd have to say no. And they're looking, they're going, well, he's, he's, he's an old guy, isn't he? I mean, you know, he's not exactly glam. <laughs> All that nonsense. And, of course, they're judging things totally the wrong way. Did you see the link I sent you, J-Dog? I haven't got it as yet. Did you send it on Messenger? Because, as I say, I can only get on Messenger on one device. So I need to do it. Everybody just automatically sends you a message. Um, there we are. So uh, that's the thing. But that's wonderful. But, Robert, you now will have, uh, you know, a few million quid in the bank with your wonderful writing. Uh, so when, once you send all these TV pilots in, it only takes one to catch on. Bit of backstory and off you go. A treatment. Did you do a treatment? <laughs> so it's wonderful. Morning, Scotty. Good morning, everybody. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. More sharing, guys. Can we all do a share? Because this is just terrible. Where I need the wizard of the big switchboard sharing while I'm talking. He sits. Tap, 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 type, 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 type on the typewriter. The typewriter? Do you see what I just did there? A typewriter. Who has ever seen one of them? Have you ever seen a typewriter? Scotty McClue. I'll just put Scotty McClue live new. There we are. Scotty McClue fan group. Posted that, so that should be quite good. That'll let people know. So there we are. So I will see that, J Dog, and thank you. And I did credit you with a big thank you for all your wonderful uh, tuition yesterday to Old McClue about things to do on YouTube to get everybody going there. Fantastic stuff. Are we on live chat? Yes. Any plans for today? All those plans. Top chat. Somebody said live chat's best. Is that right? You tell me, J-Dog will know. So there we are. I shall look out for that link. Wonderful Lisa James is watching. Dinky-doo, Lisa, lovely to have you with us. Yes, and synopsis. Oh, did you have to do a synopsis? Did you have to do, do you do backstory, Rab? And do you do blurb? <laughs> we love a bit of blurb. <laughs> and you'll have sat in the room with these people while they go, I, Robert, I, I, I can't, I can't see this catching on. You go, no, no. And you don't want to be rude and say, no, I know you can't see it, but I can. You see, it's that stuff you can't tell these people. See, you've just got to sit and a genius like yourself, you have to get sort of almost bordering on, on, on cheek. Almost bordering on verbal abuse when they sit and they say, "Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm with Henry. I, uh, I can't see that working out." <laughs> a treatment and a synopsis. Only one agent from New York got back to me, but she encouraged me to send it to it again. Well, Robert, when I wrote half of my thriller, I uh, spoke to the finest agent in the country. And at first he was very offhand. Yeah, of course I've heard of you, Scotty, but not as an author. I mean, send it in, but I don't know if we'll have time to read it. All that kind of chat. So anyway, next thing is an author friend of mine has a word with him. Next time I phoned, it was Long Lost Brothers. Scotty, how are you? I said, fine, Scotty, I've read your stuff. Do you have any more? It is excellent. I said, well, I need to set it down. Well, let me know when you've set it down, because this is uh, this is great stuff. So there you are. Have a listen to it, Robert. Deliver us from evil. It's on YouTube. Scotty McClure. Deliver us from evil. See what you think. Callum Wallace is watching Dinky Do. So you get all that. But uh, keep going, Robert, because as I say, it only takes one. Um, you know the famous saying in the media, if Lou Grade had been alive today, Scotty McClure would never be off our television screens. And that's because he was a great showbiz man. He knew what worked. He brought us so much. 
Yes, people are negative and pessimistic. I think outside of the box, always have done, always will do. Well, Robert, never, ever, ever, ever change any of that because that's the pressure. You walk away from talking to a couple of dafties that can't see the nose in front of their face. And uh, you walk away from that and you think, maybe it's me. Maybe if I changed what I wrote and gave them some caca, I might become more famous. And the answer is no, you don't deal in caca. So there we go. So, so that's the stuff. Just do the same thing. It's the same with McClue, you know. If people don't like what you do, do what you like. That's what I always say. Just you watch this stream. It might take a while, it might take a few weeks, it might take a few months. But just you watch this stream go massive. Yeah, once everybody catches on that there's a guy, Scottish guy, try to think of his name, Dinky Doo is called, and um, YouTube, big YouTuber. And that's where everybody goes. That's your talk show. There we are. And that's the way it'll go. Uh, yes, absolutely. So there we are. Treatment and a synopsis. We love it. Bit of blood as well. Um, I'm playing Super Mario World and Super Mario Bros. on Super Nintendo. I treated myself to nostalgia with the gamer's favourite games. Does anyone streaming the games? So wait a minute. I played Super Mario. You're out with my league here, Catherine. I'm not a game star. Um, I treated myself. Good morning, Daniel. So there we are. Does anyone do streaming games? J Dog will know about streaming games. J Dog, can you um, send a message to Catherine about streaming, please? You know your stuff. Good morning, Daniel. Says Nemesis. Morning, Nemesis. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, you're watching Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, and the world's most humble man. Excellent stuff. Uh, so, Robert, why is it like that? Do you think they're just in? See, I've always thought, uh, is it not the case if you're a, a big editor or a commissioning editor or whatever, you're going to get paid anyway. And you fought so hard to get that job, you don't want to lose it through going something left field. Is that not the case? Comfort break for McClure. Dinky doo for Scotty McClure. Wonderful. You see, we're only at number 32 on the live streams. So there we are. And of course, we live streamed every morning for all you beautiful Facebookers. Fantastic. Come and join us on YouTube. Another 4 a.m. night for me. Worst night of sleep in a long time. It was too hot. Daniel Harrison, it was hot. So there you are. But the trick is... Does anybody put the covers off and then they get cold? First, my friend said he was streaming, but I thought he was streaking. Lola said, why? So, <laughs> Fanta, you remind me of a joke, Kareem. I can't really tell it on here in the morning. Uh, yes, wonderful stuff. So there you go, Rob. So have you been through the mill with all your wonderful stuff? And remember, Robert, your stuff will be outstanding. If Scotty McClue was a commissioning editor you would be in the movies all the time. But they wouldn't give me a job as a commissioning editor because I know too much about television and I'd be coming up with new stuff. And so there we are. You see, I would say, try this. This will work. I can, I can see a series and think they should be taking this in, uh, in commercial television. You know, something in America or that. I say, they should be taking this. <coughs> J-Dog. There was thunder and lightning at last, at last at 3 a.m. in Greenock. J-Dog, let's have it straight. There's thunder and lightning every day in Greenock. <laughs> Only teasing Greenockians. I am a branch of the green oak tree. Night, said J-Dog. Yes, absolutely. 3 a.m. Uh, last night. There's thunder and lightning last night at 3 a.m. Well, that's not last night. That's this morning. Ha, ah, J-Dog. There we are. Not like McClue to ever have to correct you. What about that? Do you like that? You can have a free you can have a free go back. <laughs> Wonderful chat. Callum Wallace, thank you. Do lovely to have you with us. And uh, come on and give us your chat, all you wonderful 
Facebookers, Cameron Thompson, welcome to our live show on Facebook. Thanks, Scotty. I appreciate that. Thanks for the wisdom. Not at all, Robert. You do your stuff and it will win. And target it at exactly the right person. And never, ever waver, uh, you know, because they are very lucky to hear from you. There used to be an old actor's trick when I was an actor. I say I phoned them up, but they said they weren't looking at something. Scotty, stop that. Phone them up. You're a writer. I said, I know I'm a writer. I know that. I know what I write. He said, because my moniker is actor, writer, broadcaster. And now it's podcaster. As of two weeks ago, I am now one of the nation's favorite podcasters. So that was the stuff. So I put on, um, uh, you know, that. And he said, um, phone. He said, and tell him. You're a writer. He said, it's the truth. They'll talk to you. They're always keen to see writers. They don't want to see actors. They've got too many of them. So there you are. You see, so now you know. J-Dog says, getting myself confused. I now wish I woke up earlier this morning. <laughs> Not at all, you dad. So if you were awake at 3 o'clock, J-Dog, then you've only had maybe <clears throat> six hours, you know. That's not enough for a growing boy. McClure can get by with five, six hours, you see, because I always have. Pet owners being one to take care after dog biscuits were found laced with pins in Glasgow. Scottish SPCA. Why do idiots do that? Has launched an investigation after the contaminated biscuits were found in Anderston. Why do people do that? You know, I don't understand it. Dogs are so beautiful. And they are man's best friend. You know, people can see because of dogs. They can live because of dogs. They're happy because of dogs. You know, and okay, a wee bit of shecht on a pavement. Just keep your eyes open, you know. Most people tidy up. Sometimes you can't actually if the dog has a wee complaint and you think, no, that's just too loose. The stool is too loose to pick up. Walking down with a bag of water to a bin. <laughs> Pet owners are being warned. Yes, absolutely so. Let's warn everybody on here. Do be careful. You never know where the enemy is if you've got a dog. There we are. The dog is our friend. There we are. So, no, never ever give up, Robert. Keep going with it. Was well, it film scripts you do? Is it novels? Is it books? Uh, what sort of stuff do you... Television scripts, obviously... Um, all that stuff it just takes one and always talk to the right guy and when you phone they'll say oh he's in a meeting at the moment he's sitting at the desk having tea and biscuits watching his PA and he's going so he's in a meeting at the moment you say in a meeting well that's no use to me when will he be out of this meeting can you interrupt the meeting and tell him it's Scotty McClure on the phone well, who, who do you think you are I don't think I am anybody. I know who I am. <laughs> I once had a very cheeky receptionist. I phoned her up and I was trying to educate her a wee bit. And she's going, you should watch your mouth if you are looking for work. I said, I don't look for work. Work comes to me. There we are. Scotty McLeod does not look for work. The work comes via the... I've got a beautiful CV, Robert. And although I say it myself, it actually is quite impressive. I've never, ever had a job from it, ever. <laughs> All my jobs come via mobile phone. You sit at nine o'clock at night. Say, you old fool. Go out, go walk your dog and pack your bag. You're coming to Manchester. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Do you want me to send you a demo? Away you go. The best one ever was a guy who I'd worked closely with. And he got himself into a position of authority. And... I said to him one time, I said, are you not looking for a phone-in guy? And he goes, um, yeah, uh, always looking, uh, send me a demo. So I said, right. Now he knew exactly what I sounded like. There's no need for any demo. He was at it. So I said, um, right, okay, I'll, I'll get that. Just want it on cassette as usual because we didn't have files in those days. 
And he said, yeah, yeah, send us, send us a cassette and mark it as from you so it doesn't go in the bin. All that. Then I can remember uh, the phone guy chucked it and he phoned me and said, can you get down here? <laughs> and I said, well, um, I haven't finished my demo yet. And he went, well, I won't tell you what he went, but that was that. And so they are, so it's always very, very interesting. It's a game, Robert, and it's how you play the game. Absolutely disgusting. Who could do such a thing? J-Dog, there are a lot of people with serious mental challenges who don't understand dogs. You know, they don't realize. Same, people damage animals, cats, horses, all that sort of stuff. I hope they catch this sick person. It makes me angry. Of course, Kareem, because the dogs are so beautiful. All my dog does is steal my food, says Daniel. Of course, Daniel. He's not stealing it. He's taking it because he requires it. And I have Labrador rules for the house. And all the rules are, it's mine. Except if it's damaged, it's yours. So there you are. Any biscuits, they're mine. So when the dog's sitting drooling and you've got a biscuit, the dog's going, I'm getting that off you and I'm doing my best face. <laughs> so there we go. Willie Drysdale's watching Gordon Hadley. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Can you believe we've been on for an hour and 20 minutes? It's like two minutes. I'm running out of battery. No, <laughs> right out of battery on the device. Facebookers, stay with us. So there we go. I have to plug you in. I am plugging in a Facebook. Plugging in the Facebooks. There we are. Oh, oh that's better. Now, you should be. Yeah, you should be okay now. You should be live. That's it. I think we've got it for you. Wonderful. You're charging. Absolutely disgusting, says J-Dog. Absolutely, J-Dog. If you've just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome. If you're wondering what on earth's going on, you're watching Scotty McClue. We're live streaming for the second day, live on Facebook Live and on YouTube Live. Right? And it's happening right now. Fantastic. God madly dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. There we are. I've only been on for 20 minutes. Oh, J-Dog, I know. But I've just seen that we're one hour, 21 minutes of this morning. Only the second one. Does everybody like the morning streams? Are you up for it? Is it what you can do with? Excellent. I should think so. There we are. Scotty McClue live. What better way to start your day during lockdown? We're only doing it during the lockdown. But somebody asked last night on YouTube, they said, can we continue this after lockdown? Because it's brilliant. And I think that, you know, we might even look at that. I'll get some equipment. I need to get some pennies. Remember that horrible man who admitted he's killed his neighbor's dog? You tried to track him down. They will be narcissists with no soul. Yes, it's interesting. Well, it was a narcissist that uh, took my life savings, Catherine. No soul at all. We'll be streaming tonight, Scott is his nemesis, absolutely nemesis. We will be live streaming, God willing, weather permitting, 8 o'clock sharp through until 10. Come and join us. It gets me ready for the day. I know J-Dog. And J-Dog, do you not think it's very powerful that people can just communicate from anywhere in the world like this? You know, I mean, you're in uh, Guruk or Greenock or wherever you are, and... Um, you know, we've had somebody on from Pakistan, somebody on from Sydney in Australia, somebody on from America, from Tennessee this morning. I mean, it's just incredible. Really enjoying the morning shows. Catherine Raven, you must remember, you make the shows. You are a very important person. Yes, a VIP. I just had an apple, says Glenn. Glenn, stop! You make us hungry. I had a wee house in Manchester when I worked for Century Radio. And in the garden were apple trees. Left the previous owner. And he'd put in new double glazing with little apples on the top windows. 
was perfect. The problem I had, I couldn't consume all the apples. I made as much pink apple juice as I could. I had a Cox's Pippin tree. And I would end up, the wasps would get in and I'd have a wheelie bin full of apples. There you are. Your streams go from strength to strength, Scotty. Robert Scrimger, I have been amazed. Because we started from zero. Absolutely zero. You were there. I'm sure you were there at the first one, Rab. And we started from absolute zero. We've only done 30, I think this is 33. And when I taught it up, thousands upon thousands have already seen it. And if you think about it, hardly anybody knows about us yet. So it's the job of everybody to please help to subscribe, to like the streams. If everybody can like the stream, when you come on, subscribe to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel and share it. Go, do you, do you ever watch this guy? He's on at 10 o'clock in the morning. He's on at 8 o'clock at night. Uh, that's British summertime. I mean, I'm on lunchtime in America, you know, in Canada. And we've got uh, guys from all over the world at night. Uh, there's a larger delay, I think, further you are in the world. Well, you see, j Dog, this was talking to Grady the other night in Canada. And I wondered if it was just him, but there was quite a long delay chatting to Nova Scotia. Granny Smiths are golden delicious. Well, now you're talking a Granny Smith that are golden delicious. Cox's Pippins. There we are. Just throwing another one into the mix. So there we are. Uh, Robert, yes, the streams are really working out. This will go massive, trust me. You know, it's uh, if, I'm, if I'm able to get the time, I mean, I'll have to uh, make sure that, uh, you know, I've got so much work to do. I'm pretty maxed. But... Um, you know, if if I can keep this going, then I will do, and I think it'll be huge. So there we are, Scotty McClue, podcaster and YouTuber. There we are. So, uh, you know, even although we're the first lord of the internet, it's wonderful. Dinky do, Scotty, says the wonderful Robster Mary. Robster Dinky do. I was looking at some of the stuff you'd sent me over the piece. Uh, I was looking at older pieces, Robster, and you've been around with me for a long time. So we'll maybe look at the Skype. There we are, because we have our top Skypers. Guys, remember, we can always arrange for the Skype. Fantastic. That's what it's about. Cameron Thompson, Dinky Do. Thanks, Scotty. I appreciate that. Says Robert. Robert, that's brilliant. Gordon Hadley, Dinky Do. That goes for all of you guys. Follow your dreams. Don't give up. I can remember in school, people used to say, what are you going to do when you're older? And I'd say, well, I'll maybe be a doctor. Or I might be a vicar or a minister. People were laughing at the time and said, but I'd like to be a broadcaster on television and radio. And everyone by this stage is <laughs> helpless with laughter. He thinks he's going to be a broadcaster. News flash, everybody. There we are. Scotty, I might Skype tonight if you'll have me. Kareem, have you... Why on earth, my dear fellow, would I not? You're an absolute top man. You are pivotal to the streams. People adore you on there. Have you not noticed when you try to get off to your bobos? Night, Kareem. Night, Kareem. Kareem, hi. Hi, Kareem. All the best. Night, Kareem. See you. Ta-ra, Kareem. <laughs> That's just for starters. So, yes, we'll have a Skype tonight. We'll have a good old Skype. So I want to have a wee chat with you anyway. I know you've had... Some very serious, difficult challenges come up through no sort of fault of yours at all. Uh, so there we are. Uh, so do Skype. You know, I mean, I, I saw your news and I know you've had a tough year. You've lost friends and things like that, Kareem. So always a privilege, never a chore, dear boy. There we are. That's our Kareem. What a top fellow. And uh, what is, oh my goodness me, it's half past 11. Half past 11. Why, what's happened? <laughs> we do that. Anybody uh, got a lovely mum that shouts up, mine's no longer with us, God rest her soul, requis cat in patchy Auntie C. But um, she used to shout up and say, that's seven o'clock. I thought nothing gets past Todd, does it? You're lying in your bed. My dad used to send the dog up. It wasn't a Labrador in those days. It was a West Highland Terrier. 
and you know what they're like and it used to jump in the bed lick your face but the tricks to keep your eyes shut and tell your dad you are sleeping so i used to go like this here we go come on seven o'clock i'd go like this sleeping sound asleep not hearing <laughs> and he would do things like give the bed a kick with his feet and all that set the dog up la, 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 the dog <laughs> All that stuff in the morning. Remember the very, very cold mornings, guys? No heat in the house. The linoleum. Anybody have linoleum in their bedroom? What well, luxury that was. So there we are. Uh, I'm out Skype as well tonight if I feel like it, says J-Dog. J-Dog, that would be good. Yes, because you haven't Skyped for far too long. So there we are. Thank you, Scotty. You have Skyped, haven't you, J-Dog? Rob Mary, I hope to be a doctor in the future as I feel it's vital. We have more people in the front line of the NHS. We had a doctor on last night and I asked if he was a, an allopathic doctor and he said, I'm a very good doctor. Maybe he didn't know what I meant by allopathic. Rob Sir, the NHS needs you. Go for it, says Kareem. Absolutely. Kareem, you would be a great doctor with your bedside manner. You'd be very good, you say. And where is it you're feeling the pain? Because, you see, the doctors, that's all changed as well. You used to get to the doctor and he'd be waiting on you and he'd watched you walk in and knew if you had a bad leg. And he'd look at you and think, yes, I'm not too happy with the colour of you. You're quite pale. All that sort of stuff. Uh, and you're sweating. You have a temperature. Mm -hmm. And all that. And he would have patted you in the back when you went in. They don't do the physical touch now, but there was a lot of tactility from professionals, and he would pat you in the back. He said, well, I think I've got a sore throat. And he said, yes, your glands are up. I felt them on the way in there. So very, very good. But now you go in, and they're tap, 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 at the old computer. And um, they're doing catching up with the update to the notes of the previous patient. They go, just be with you in a second. Just have a seat, please. Thank you, thank you very much. Won't be, won't be long. Yes, uh -huh. And then they go. No, uh, good morning. What can I do for you? And that's the first introduction. So the doctors changed, and I think they're probably under a wee bit of pressure to get through every day. So you need to be in and out. And they go. Yes, I'll just type you a prescription. You've got tonsillitis. There we are. Now that's an antibiotic. You have it uh, three times a day with meals. Uh, you know, and if you take that to the chemist next door, they'll they'll have that for you. Thanks very much, Doctor. Oh, feeling better already. <laughs> All that can I carry on, isn't it? A lot of people say I'm in the wrong profession. I should be a counsellor. Kareem, anything you put your mind to, you would be fantastic at. Let's have it straight. So there you go. I hope you were encouraged when you were young. I hope people didn't say, stop your nonsense, Karim, all that. Oh, because it was a different day. I mean, you're younger than me, but when we were young, people, <coughs> people doubted you all the time. Uh, here's Glenn at the doctor's. <laughs> this is wonderful, this. A number comes up on screen and says, Mr. Bloggs, please go to room number six. You go in there to number six and and see Dr. Smith. And in you go and they go, ah, good morning, good morning. I'll just wash my hands before I see you. There we are. They've got the old scrub up. What can I do for you? Then they put the gloves on. <laughs> All that stuff. And doctors do not like you telling them what's wrong. So keep your keep your mouth shut. Keep your mouth shut when you're in with the doctor. Because I remember uh, going into a lady and she said, can I help you? And I said, yes, um, I've, I've got um, a sore throat. I think if you can give me an antibiotic, because it's quite hard to shift. And uh, it's it'll be tonsillitis. She would go, um... I will tell you what's wrong with you, if you don't mind. I am the doctor. So, all righty-o. 
So then she gets a big lollipop stick, wooden lollipop stick. It says, open wide, please. And she goes, uh-huh. Uh, yes, your glands are up. You've got tonsillitis. I'll write you an antibiotic for that. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you for your wisdom. <laughs> so, can you say hi to Mrs. McLean from Mrs. Robster Mary? I can. <coughs> Darling, Robster's on the line. No, no, not Funster, Robster. Robster Mary, that's why you thought Funster. Yes, that's right, Robster Mary, and he's saying hi. Okay, I'll tell him. Yes, she says hi to you, Robster. She says dinky do from Mrs. McClue. We like that, don't we? Wonderful. Scotty, I was told by my teachers I would never be a PE teacher, and here I am, and for them to see me as a teacher. Oh, what a beautiful day that was. It's wonderful, isn't it? <clears throat> well, I can remember one of my older teachers, and he used to wear his university tie. And I loved this. He was a very, very smart chap, very elegant and uh, big rugby-playing guy. And he would wear a white shirt and a tweed suit with his university tie. And I said, I like your tie, son. He said, well, that's university. I'll say, do you think I'll have one of these one day, sir? And he went, no. <laughs> anyway, he was speaking at a dinner, this wonderful guy became an absolute top, well he always was a top man, but he went right to the top, and um, he was speaking at a dinner, and he came up afterwards, he saw me, and I was wearing my university tie, but here's the lovely thing, he pointed to it, he went, that. I said, yeah, it's tie, yes, that's right. <laughs> And when he left, he gave me his university tie. So there we are. So absolutely no problem at all. So there you go, guys. There's hope for everybody. If McClue can do it, you can do it. That's what I say. Right. All these wonderful people are joining us here. Willie Drysdale, Gordon Hadley, Annie Donald, Fred Walton. Um. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Stuart Main. Scott Grant. Lovely. Welcome, 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 guys. They are live on Facebook. A very nice message, Scotty. Well, there you are. Isn't that uh, isn't that good stuff? There. Which which message was that? Which which particular one, J Dog? Um Yes, that's amazing, says Robster. Yes, absolutely Robster. Very nice message, Scotty. Very good, J Dog. Thank you very much for that. Keep me up to date too. Remember, McClue's the Algen, the Algen, and uh, we need to be kept up to date with everything. If you've just joined us, folks, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. We're live on Facebook Live and on YouTube Live, live streaming simultaneously, just for you and saying, "Dink you do, fantastic, lovely to have you with us." I'm so glad everybody has joined us there. Now, what else have we got here? Oh, we haven't had a clip. Do you want a clip this morning? That's not a clip round the ear. These days have gone. That's what they used to give you. Kirim, you'd be too young to remember that. Thank goodness. The clip round the ear. The teachers used to give you that. You know, silly fool. Is the football on tonight? Not that I'll be watching because there's a wee show on called Scotty McClure and Karim. The wee show will grow to a big show. And people will go, never mind the football my clues on. You watch, you watch. Trust me, trust me, Kareem. Because I've been there before. When I came to Scott FM, everybody doubted it. Well, he just talks to folk. And the f that, that'll no catch on. Quarter of a million people per half hour later. Oh, I always knew that was a winner. As soon as I heard him. <laughs> <laughs> they changed their tune. People have two faces at least. Clip, yes, Scotty, yes, Karim, we'll get a clip going for you and let you hear that. So what will we do? What would you like on the clip? What sort of thing do you fancy? So there we are. Um... 
Wonderful, right. Now, what about, what about Kareem, would you like to hear, right, now this takes a bit of work, this, and we'll have to move our wonderful Facebook us along a wee bit. <laughs> I must get this down to a fine art. <laughs> there we are, hold on everybody. This is requiring a bit of skill from a clue here. Right, that's fine. All right, so I'll get rid of that and we set up this. And we do that. And we have to do this, right. Right, are we ready now, Kareem? I think you will adore this. Uh, right, I think you will. Absolutely. Wait a minute, absolutely, hold on. Right. Now, this is for all of you guys. This is a gorgeous clip. And uh, I'll let you hear it, and then you can tell me what you think. Now, I need to find... <laughs> you can tell how well organised we are here, guys. There we are. That's us turned on the speakers. Yes, never a dull moment. So I have to move you there. Right, are we ready? If it's too loud, let me know. What's the dinky do, Bill? Who talks to me, Scotty? I might be talking to you. Well, yeah. Right. I think you're a good man. You've got, you've got one problem, eh? Right, right go on. You don't like anybody else's point of view. That... I've never heard that. Sorry? I don't know where you've got that from, Bill. I've heard you on the radio, mate. Yeah? Now listen mate, I've been in South Africa 25 years. Nothing wrong with I'm that. Not about no, I'm not talking about politics, race, anything. No, nothing wrong yeah, with that. I guy the other week about drinking and, I think he was an MP from Liverpool or whatever. Yeah. And as soon as he wanted to give his point of view, he wanted to put the phone down on him. And now in South Africa... Now I think you've got that wrong actually Bill, right? Can I, I mean, this first no, place? well, wait a minute. There's no way I would ever put the phone down because somebody started the point of view. So you, you've overplayed your hand a little bit there. You're right, then. All right. You're well, a bit well, excited. I mean, I take, I take hundreds of opinions. You did it. Now, can I finish? Well, wait in a minute. I'm just explaining to you. No, no, you're yeah. not. You see. No, I am. You see. I mean, if, if you if you've got the right to so talk, so have I. If you could put the phone down. If you've got the right to talk, so have I. Yeah, but I'm not going to put the phone down if you're keeping a civil tongue in your gob. I've got, you know what? In my mouth. Your gob. What's that? Your gob is your mouth. Carry on. No, that's all I'm saying. Right. I'm waiting for you to speak, but you keep no. leaving long pauses. No, no, no. Listen, in South Africa, you sir. Right, very good. Not because of his whatever, but he was a guy from uh, South Africa, Mozambique, and everything else on the radio. Sure, I'm sure that was worth a listen. And he used to speak to people, and if anybody came on the radio and said anything wrong, he used to put the phone down and say, well, whatever. Well, that's him, that's not me. Right, okay. So you mustn't confuse us. We're different people, obviously. Well, I know you're not, because he was uh, Mozambican, and you're, uh, you're uh, Englishman. Oh, so, sorry, a Scotchman. Well, nothing gets past you, does it? I'm worldly travel, mate. Well, it's not coming across, but I'll accept it. Sorry? It's not coming across, but I'll accept that. What do you mean, not coming across? Well, it's not coming across that you're widely travelled. You're not coming across as a particularly intelligent man. Is that right? Well, I don't think you are, actually. Well, I should be. Why is that? Eh? What's your history? What do you mean, what's my history in what respect? Well, you're born in Scotland. I may have been. I mean, that's nothing to do with it. Listen, I've been overseas 25 years, just come back. I've yep. listened to you on the radio. Yep. I've listened to you for... You talk a lot of good sense, actually. We do our best. I know, and you talk to a few... Oh, is this live on the radio? Is it being... No, you uh, mustn't swear. No, it's not been anything. It's live on the radio. Well, you talk to a few uh, whatever. Yeah. And uh, I think you talk a lot of good things, but you talk about a lot of immigrants and things like that, mm -hmm. which... 
a lot of people come over here and they get the dole and they get this and they get that and whatever and uh well you went over to south africa and i worked a grafted mate yes exactly and i worked for my money i didn't get nothing but you were allowed to i mean these people aren't allowed to work who aren't these immigrants that you're talking about the where? asylum seekers where they're not allowed to work when they initially come over where and you talking about uk well, where do you think I'm talking about? The Antarctic? I'm asking you. Eh? I'm asking you where? Well, I don't where know. You? You're not blessed, are you? See, you're doing it now, you see. Doing, you're doing what? It. You're trying to put me off the subject. I'm not trying to put you off where the subject you at all. Where are people that are not allowed to work? Yes. But that's In not what UK. you come on to discuss. In the UK? You're talking about UK? Yeah. No. Well, where do you think I'm talking about? You're asking me the question again. Hmm. Where do you well, think I'm talking phone. about? Look, don't put the phone down on me. I'm not going to put the phone well, down on you. Idiot. I want to put the phone down on idiots. Yeah, well, you're not so a bloody idiot, eh? Hey? I was in Africa 25 years. Yeah, you've said that three, South four, Africa, four, four times. Zambique. Four times you've said that now. Have I? And four times you've said the opposite. I mean, what do you think interests the nation about that? Sorry? What do you think interests the nation about that? Why are you telling us that? What are you doing on my program? I'm trying to talk to a sensible person, hopefully. Right. Right. Now, come on, then. Right. Now, the other way, you were talking about immigrants coming in here and they're entitled to come in here and live off us. Is that right or what? That sounds like it. What's you, about... You, you, you'll like know. It. You'll know. You're obviously the bright spark. I'm not an electrician, mate. Come on, then. I'm not an electrician, I'm a tradesman, plumber, roofing, heating engineer. Whatever. All these things, whatever's going, yep. Yeah. Are you a tradesman? A Johnny All Things, I might be. Oh, you might be? I might be. So, you agree with the, all these people from Kosovo and whatever coming over? Well, what are you going to do? Let them starve to death? Well, I would, yeah. Would you? Right. Well, like, you're not uh, the kind of person I want to know then. I'm not the type. I mean, what if somebody let you starve to death? I would never starve to death. Well, you might well starve to death. I would always make death. myself no, to death because no, of my I'm training. sorry. No, that doesn't matter. If you were in an oppressive country, you know, I mean, why did you leave South Africa? Because you had to get out. No, I had personal problems. Right. I lost my son. Right. Personal problems. All right. Are we off, on the air off? Listen, I'm getting fed up with this. Of course we're on the air. It's a, phone right, in, it's a phone in program. Well, I phoned in before and some of it's uh, laid back for two or three minutes and then it's broadcasted. Okay. Yeah. Right. Right, you've you probably worked all your life, earned good, you know, earned money and done whatever and whatever. But the thing is, England is a soft touch for everybody. Am I cut off or what? Of course not. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I'm still here. Hello? I wish you'd say something sensible. I'm, Have you been you, drinking? What do you mean? Have no, you, I've not been drinking. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a teetotaler. Well, you're coming across as if you're gassed out of your box. Are you on something? I'm on the phone to you, mate. You're on the phone, right. Right, so let's talk sense. Well, I'm waiting. No, so England's a soft touch, eh? So you tell me. They take all the people in from all over the world who've all got problems. Why don't their own country look after them? Well, they don't want them. Their own countries are in a political shambles. Yeah, I mean, look you, at look you, at you, you... Well, you go, you go and actually say, go on. I mean, Mozambique's just come out of, what is it, a 16-year war? You go and tell them then to look after all the years. people. How yeah. old are you? Eh? It's a 26 war. 26 war. 1976 you started, eh? Right. Portuguese. Okay. Where did Portuguese go to? Well, all right. No Back to be, Portugal. There's no need to be cheeky. Where did, no, I'm not being cheeky. I'm just telling you the truth. How old are you, Scotty? That's none of your business. Oh, I'm 52, eh? Right. I went to South Africa in 76. Right. Portuguese pulled out of Angola. Right. Portuguese pulled out of Mozambique, same year, 76. What's this got to do with and the price of food? Let me see, you're arguing again. I'm not well, arguing, I haven't even started yet. Right, well, you to, I'm you trying to... Got good, you've got a good argument here, man. You know, I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to see where you're coming from. School of... Uh, uh, University of Life, mate. I think you've had too much to drink. 
I haven't had too much I, th- I can talk I, to you till no, I, th- I think you want to come on here when you're a bit more sober and you can talk sense. Oh, you see, you're doing it. I'm doing it. You don't want yeah. to talk to people who can argue with you. Yeah, you can't argue with me. You I can bloody argue no, with you. Can, the, no, you can't. Till, the, till no, the sun comes no, down, you mate. You couldn't argue with your way out of a wet bag. That's how you were last week with the uh, MP from Liverpool. Yeah, the MP. Anybody that gives you the crossword, you want to put the phone down. Nothing to do with crossword. Right, it's to do with people who are a waste of space. No, you're a waste of space. You're Listen a, to me for a minute. You're a waste of space. You've you got nothing to, to say. What? You've got nothing interesting to say. You've got no experience of life. I've got more than you, mate. Well, we haven't heard 25 anything. years in Africa. Yeah, that's the sixth time now you've told us. Six times, I'll mark it. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Twenty-six years in Africa. Great. Right. All right. Well, what, sort of, what sort you of ask me experience? A question, then. What you sort of experience is that? You asked me a question then. Right. I'll answer you straight. What tribe was Jomo Kenyatta? Jomo Kenyatta? Yeah. Maasai. Right. Kenya. Kenya. Kenya? Yeah. Yes. What, All right. Well, what, 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 three, what three countries made up British East Africa? Uh, Kenya, Tanganyika, and I think uh, either Rhodesia or Zambia. Rubbish. How's that? Rubbish. Not even close. What do you mean, uh, British East Africa? Uganda. All right, one wrong. One wrong. Kenya, Tanganyika. Right. Right. Do you tell me? Who was General Smuts? President of South Africa. When? About 1920s. Right. Now, you tell me, who was the president of South Africa, 1960s? Why are you asking that? Well, I'm challenging you. Well, you tell me then. John Borster. Right. Correct. Correct, yeah. Right, okay, carry on. You're all right, you've got that one. <laughs> I think you're a good bloke, you, but... I think you've got your uh, legs tied. My legs tied? I think you've got your eyes crossed. <laughs> Not wearing, no ways, mate. I don't wear glasses. <laughs> no, look, seriously, I lived there 25 years. And well, I know you, that you've done seven times. Seven times you've told us that. Is that right? seven? I'm 28 now. Right. I think, we'll, I think we'll leave it at that now, because that's eight times we've heard that you've lived 25 years in Africa. You've been yeah, on 10 minutes, Scotty, and you've I'm said be- nothing. I'm beating you on the phone, that's why you're not beating me at all. I'm you haven't even you. started. Scotty. You're giving me nothing. You're giving me nothing to discuss. I cannot have a battle of wits if my opponent is unarmed. I'm, all, I'm armed. I've got an AK-47 here, mate. No, it's nothing to do with that. It's to do with your ability. No, you've got no ability. You've got no ability and you've you got... You've that guy You've down, got no me. manners. I've just swore. You see, what, what, I mean, I've, I've put you in the rope several times and you haven't come back. You know what? You're a disgrace. There's a man that called you a tosser the other week. Well, he'd no, well, no right to. I thought well, you'd say that because that's you. the level you're at, you see. You can phone me back. No, no, no. That's the level you're at, you see. No, it's the level you are. Calling can't. people you tossers can't. on here, you've no right to. You can't have any t- you opposition, you. And there's no opposition. You, do, you haven't provided any opposition. I'm giving it you now over the phone, mate. No, you're not. You're, uh... You haven't provided any opposition. Listen. You've, all you've done is put the nation to sleep. Is that right? I think you're putting them to sleep every day of the week. You've put the nation to sleep. You're a waste of time and space. Well, I beg your pardon, but... It's all right. You can beg your pardon as much as possible. The truth hurts. Right, guys, there we are. Did you like that one? Something else a bit different. <laughs> now, what have we got? <clears throat> uh, I struggled with that clip. Lol, what was the guy's point of view? I feel he struggled to get it across. Kareem, you're 100% correct. You haven't struggled at all. That clip is called Scotty McClude talks to a guy with virtually nothing to say. He was about 10, 12 minutes, whatever, on the radio and said nothing apart from the fact he told us eight times he was 26 years in Africa. (laughs) Said immigrants take our money, bright as a blackout, says Catherine. You're arguing again, says Robster Berry. I know, I love it. (laughs) You're arguing again. Kareem, we need to crowdfund your little hearing aid. It's my eyes fail me and I've lost my specs. 
Catherine, you've got to get down. McClue plays tricks on himself, you know, unintentionally. And it's where did I put my glasses? And what I was doing, I was hoovering last week. And I was in a drawer which had tidied out and I hoovered out the dust from the drawer and my glasses were slipping off. So I put them in the drawer thinking I'll get them as soon as I'm finished hoovering. The next day I went to get my glasses because I need them for the telly and um, couldn't get them. Hunted high and low and did all the right stuff, all that that you do with yourself. Now, oh, I'll tell you when you last had them. You went to the car and that, and you, ha you you changed your trousers. They're in your other trousers. That's where they are. Oh, I'll tell you where they are. And I have found them in all sorts of places, you know. You put them off to cook and they're sitting on a shelf. All that sort of idea. It's just a kind of... But I don't want these chains around your neck because they look so... Uh, what, what do they... They look so affected. You know, it's sort of as if you're trying to sort of have a look a bit like i like the half specs because i can see both things but you look like people oh, looking over the specs all the time we used to do that and then i found see <laughs> rob samaria an ak-47 here mate i know he's tried to act it up <laughs> he wouldn't know an ak-47 if there was one of his soup what the hell is he joking catherine it was just a dafty and i think he was full of the ill uh, you no, know, no, you no, no. Did you like that, Joseph? I think it's a goodie. I hope people don't mind the clips because I think these are funny. And remember, um, I haven't heard them all back. So there we are. You know, there's ones I think I haven't heard all of this because when you're on the radio, you're only really getting the one side of the whole thing. And I could tell the family were laughing in the background at him. You know, he said, to, "What? What's happened there?" Is that guy said to his family. I'll phone him up. I'll sort him out. <laughs> he won't cheek up to me. <laughs> what happened to McClue's pies? I can't get a decent pie in Sheffield anymore. Nemesis, vegetarian lattice slice in a rich chicken sauce. Scotty, when you write, like, and share on Facebook feed, it's back to front. Lol, the YouTube one is fine. Oh, yes, when I do that, that's fine, but it's backwards. For you guys. Well, I have to write one backwards. No, I learned that, Kareem, because the Scotty McClue badge, you see, which we can see on, uh, we can see fine on the YouTube live stream, and the writing is backwards, isn't it, guys? Is that backwards to you on Facebook? So there you are. So I think that's what's happening. Wonderful. Now, I've just realized we're out of time. Uh, so there were that was a good one. Did you like that one, Catherine? Can you hear the clips all right, guys? Do let me know if you can hear them okay. Because so I think that's very important as well. Have we got the volume? No, it isn't backwards, says Catherine. So it's not backwards on Facebook, Catherine. Are you looking? Are you not on looking on YouTube? We know it's not backwards on YouTube. It's the right way around when I show you that. But I think it's backwards when I show it to them on um Yes. Was it upside down? No, that's no good. I'll have to write one back because I can remember when I did all my Facebook lives, I had to show them the red card and I didn't have a red card. I only had some yellow uh, post-it notes. So I wrote red card on it and wrote backwards, red card, held that up. Scotty, the dogs need a wee walk, so I'll speak tonight. Take care. Goodbye, everyone. Speak later. Kareem, take great care of your dear self. The sign's fine, yes, on YouTube, but not on YouTube. Catherine's on, yes, it's fine on YouTube, but you're on Facebook. I'm on YouTube. We'll be backwards on Facebook. That's what we're saying, Catherine. That's it. You've got it in one. Bye, Kareem. Take great care. Right, you beautiful people. I'll tell you what. We'll leave it there and let you away because you'll want to get a wee moment or two, get a wee cup of tea before something else starts. It's been a joy and a privilege this morning. How's the fox, says our wonderful Erica Meyer. The fox is beautiful. Right, yes, very shaggy coat, I noticed the other night. Uh, the goodbye song. Yes, of course, goodbye song every day. How many? <coughs> goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. 
Take care everybody as you go. Goodbye everybody, a Vita Zane, au revoir, and a cheery oh. But it is only au revoir, and uh, by pour le moment, because we'll be back live, live streaming, live on air at 8 o'clock sharp tonight. Meanwhile, get yourselves onto Scotty McClure's YouTube channel and click subscribe. Thank you to all you beautiful, beautiful YouTubers. Take care of yourself. Catherine says, I've got a wee fox, so it gets well fed here. I'll bet you, Catherine. They're beautiful wee guys. Absolutely lovely. That's it, folks. Good morning. Have a gorgeous day. Join me at 8 o'clock sharp for more fun and frolics. This is Scotty McClure saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. And ta-ra, lads! Ta-ra, lads! There we go. Right, what do we do here now? Because we're multi -stay. Goodbye, have a beautiful day. Catch you later, big man. Have a great day, Glenn says. Bye, Scotty, says Ronster. Dinky do, says Catherine. Love it. And uh, take great care of your dear selves. ta -da Oh, you wonderful people. That's it. Join us tonight, 8 o'clock sharp. See you then. ta -da loves. <laughs>